December 6th, 2025, NASA's MAVEN orbiter goes behind Mars on a routine pass. Standard procedure happens multiple times every day. Except this time, it doesn't come back online, radio silence. And when NASA finally gets a fragment of tracking data days later, they see something that shouldn't be possible. The spacecraft is spinning, tumbling through space. Something happened behind Mars that NASA didn't expect. Or maybe something they should have seen coming. NASA engineers started piecing together theories. Maybe a propellant line ruptured, maybe a pressurized tank failed. What they call an energetic event. The kind of catastrophic failure that sends a spacecraft tumbling, unable to orient its solar panels towards the sun, unable to point its antenna toward Earth. The kind of failure that usually means permanent loss. Here's what makes this harder to dismiss is simple bad luck. 2022, MAVEN goes into safe mode for three months. Inertial measurements units malfunction. Navigation sensors fail. Engineers spent months troubleshooting before bringing it back online. So this spacecraft already had a history of losing contact for extended periods. And there's the budget situation. The Trump administration's fiscal year 2026 proposal completely eliminated MAVEN's funding. $22.6 million to operate in 2024, reduced to zero for 2026. The justification was that it's operating well past its intended mission lifespan. Aging hardware, diminishing returns. So you've got a spacecraft NASA was already planning to shut down, suddenly experiencing what appears to be catastrophic failure. Timing is remarkable. Not suspicious necessarily, but remarkable. I'm not here to claim this was intentional. I don't know what happened behind Mars on December 6th. Maybe it's exactly what it looks like. An old spacecraft with aging components, finally experiencing the kind of failure that ends missions. Maybe NASA will recover it like they did in 2022. Maybe the story ends with engineers pulling off another rescue and Maven resuming its watch over a dying planet. But there is something unsettling about a spacecraft going silent while it's documenting how worlds end. MAVEN was watching Mars lose its atmosphere, measuring the process that transformed an ocean world into a frozen desert. Building a case study for what happens when a planet's magnetic field fails and solar wind strips away everything. And now it's spinning through space, unable to talk, right when that data matters most. Because we're not just studying Mars past, we're studying Earth's potential future. Our magnetic field isn't permanent. It weakens. It shifts. Geological records show it's reversed polarity hundreds of times. And every time it weakens or flips, we become more vulnerable to exactly what killed Mars. MAVEN was our eyes on that process. Now those eyes are closed. Maybe temporarily, maybe permanently. The spacecraft that was watching a planet die has gone silent. And we're left wondering if it was just mechanical failure or if there is something about watching the end of worlds that carries its own risk. The data MAVEN collected over 11 years is still there, still being analyzed, but the real-time observations have stopped. The spacecraft that showed us how fragile planetary atmospheres really are, can no longer tell us what it sees. We're watching from Earth now, watching Mars continue its slow death and waiting to see if Maven will ever speak again. Sometimes silence is just silence. And sometimes it's the last thing a spacecraft says before the sun finishes what it started four billion years ago. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Drop a comment below, please. And if you like what you see here, please share and subscribe. It's free for you. It means the world to us, and we honestly appreciate it. Be sure to check out all the links below for other cool stuff, too. And we have a really uh, awesome Facebook page. Uh, pretty active. I think you'll like it. So go check it out. And remember, always keep an open mind and not so open your brains fall out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.